Florida Hospital Tampa is transforming surgical weight loss and joining me today to discuss how the Bariatric and Metabolic Institute may be able to help you are doctors Michelle Murr and John Paul Gonzalvo. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. Lots to talk about this morning. Let's first start though big picture and uh, this is something very unique. I think uh, now at Florida Hospital, I understand the team just kind of assembled, reassembled maybe just a couple of months ago. So tell people what these big changes are. Well, we're excited about these big changes. You know, we're putting together a totally different take on surgical weight loss. We have a bold vision mm -hmm. together with Florida Hospital on how to deliver excellent care everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so we're bringing in a, a large number of dietitians, psychologists, um, bariatricians, obesity medicine specialists, and surgeons uh, to deliver a comprehensive, interdisciplinary, one-stop care for obesity uh, and for patients with obesity. So really it follows, what I'm assuming is it follows that patient from when they first come in, start having the consultations through whatever procedure they end up having and then well after as well to make sure that they can maintain. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Lifetime follow-up. Let's talk about some of the, the surgical options that are available now, maybe the more popular ones. What are, what are the ones that, that we're going to focus on this morning? So the two surgeries that we do are the sleeve gastrectomy, which is the most popular surgery in the United States which today. Which I haven't heard much about. I mean, I know you say it's the most popular. Explain what that is. It is a new, newer surgery. It is newer, about okay. 10 years we've been doing it. Uh, we remove almost 80% of your stomach. Wow, okay. And so you end up with a very narrow, thin stomach so that, of course, it has a small capacity. You can't eat a whole lot at one time. But by removing the stomach, you're also taking away some of the hormones that drive hunger, satiety, and, you know, uh, make people sort of desire food. Okay. So it changes the way p patients think about what they're eating. They have less desire for foods. Uh, especially some of the sweet foods that maybe mm -hmm. were the crux of the problem yeah. beforehand. Well, and this is why I think that big picture and may maybe helping patients well after they have the surgery is Absolutely. so crucial. Right. Talk about the other procedure that is real so popular these the days. The other surgery that we do is the gastric bypass. Okay, which That surgery has been done for 50 years. Mm -hmm. So we have a very good understanding of how that's going to work for patients, the long-term outcomes of that surgery, and it's very good at delivering uh, improvements in medical problems like diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, cholesterol, sleep apnea. So patients that are sick with these problems now have a great way to improve their health with either one of these surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, but the bypass tends to deliver a little bit more because it's a little more complicated surgery. Well, and again, no one size fits all here. Obviously, this is someone, you know, someone's got to be willing to do this at first, maybe mentally prepared as well. You wanted to bring up the holidays as well and explain why you wanted to bring this up. Well, it's a, it's a big uh, time for everybody. Holidays are fun, uh -huh. so we want to have fun. They're and, emotional. But, they're <laughs> emotional, but we want to inspire uh, um, health and wellness. Yeah. And the way we will look at it is, uh, you know, we had to think about food and how we uh, eat and mm -hmm. what we eat. And we want to update uh, ante on some physical activity. I think that's a good recipe for the holidays. It usually would work. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's really about being mindful about what you eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Because Which is what you brought here. I don't want to run out of time before uh, displaying these lovely objects you brought in. Yeah. That's about uh, five pounds of fat. Oh, lovely. Yeah. We okay. don't want that. Yeah, no. What we want is five pounds of muscle. Okay. And this is what drives good health, having good muscle mass. But again, looking at big picture, making sure there's a team that's going to be there right when you come in through the surgery and then well after. Uh, as we wrap up here, you have an event you wanted to mention too. You have some celebrity sure. guest stars at this as well. Yes, uh, we're doing the Men's Health Symposium at One Buck Place yeah. or now going to Advent Health. Uh, and it's going to be on November 18th. Okay. It's right before the game that All they're right. having that afternoon. Uh, it's on the website uh, so that people can sign up okay. and come and participate. It's going to be some family fun. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have different speakers. Uh, all about men's health, but everybody in the family is invited. All right. Well, there uh, is the information there where you can get more information on what's being done. We'll make sure and put it on our website as well. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Congratulations well, on what you, you guys so are doing yeah, uh, this for this, awesome. and we're eager to see where this leads. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure.